Hey, how's it going, pop-up camper family? So, let me tell you the story about how not only did I break our new-to-us pop-up camper in about 30 minutes after owning it, but uh, also how I broke myself and ended up in the ER about 30 minutes after we got our new pop-up camper. So, in order to tell this story adequately, I have to back up a little bit. Um, so, uh, we were pulling the pop-up back, uh, back home and we picked it up from a nice family probably about an hour and a half away. So, about halfway back we decided, oh, what the heck, let's get some food and uh, make sure the pop-up camper is doing all right, make sure nothing is, you know, swinging around or rattling or nothing fell off and checking the hubs and I don't know, all that stuff. So we pulled into a fast food restaurant and um, for some reason I decided not to take the corner wide enough and we went up and over the corner. Uh, one of the wheels went up and then as soon as it came up off the corner or the curb I should say, the whole camper came back down and I almost completely ripped off the rear stabilizer jack. So here, let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see right here, here is our stabilizer jack. And we kind of have it uh, tied up right here. And oh, I don't know, it's hanging on by one bolt or something. I don't even know what it's all held on by, but yeah, I, uh, I pretty much uh, completely totaled our stabilizer jack here. So hear me out. <laughs> As we were getting food and after obviously I broke that, um, we were waiting for food. So I figured, okay, why not uh, maybe pull out some of the tools that we keep in our tow vehicle and just try and take off the stabilizer jack. That way it's not, you know, flopping all over the place or dragging on the ground as we, you know, I don't know, drive another 45 minutes back home. So that was my thoughts. So, and I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe I can film a video on, you know, why it might be necessary to have, you know, an emergency toolkit in your tow vehicle um, along with some other things. So, <laughs> hey, maybe that still will be a future video, but I figured with the obvious, I might as well um, talk about this. So, yeah, I don't know. I pulled out the socket kit. I started unscrewing the um, stabilizer jacks, the bolts that um, hold on the stabilizer jacks. There's just three of them. However, quickly I came to find out that uh, the, oh shoot, I don't know, some sort of metal bracket that the stabilizer is within bent and it bent enough that it was covering one of those, um, it was, uh, it's either a uh, self-tapping screw or a bolt and effectively I couldn't get the socket in there. So actually, let me see if I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this nut right there got covered by this piece of metal right here. So brilliantly, what I thought I should do is bend it back with the backside of a hammer. And in the stupid rush that I was in, um, well, long story short, I ended up hitting myself uh, with the hammer. So, uh, total dumb move, just in a rush, didn't think about anything as I was trying to get that out of there. Obviously, we're just trying to get home. And uh, yeah, so home ended up in a uh, detour to the emergency room. So, um, four stitches later and a new stabilizer jack. Hopefully uh, we can get back uh, everything all fixed up. Obviously my face is gonna take a little longer than this, but hopefully I can take care of uh, getting this stabilizer jack replaced today. So let's do that right now. Now that I got the whole stabilizer jack off, it's pretty evident that I, uh, I bent that up pretty well, so I'll see if I can get it bent back a little bit better.
All right, guys, so unfortunately, the stabilizer jack, or at least the pad, isn't perfectly level. I mean, I guess, yeah, it's, it, in other words, it's, it's not perfect like it was from the factory, but neither is my, my forehead. So I guess I'll live with it. And you know, as I've been going through this video and filming it, I've been thinking about like, okay, what's the point of this? Why do you guys care? I don't know, maybe besides an interesting story about me uh, breaking our pop-up and breaking myself in the first 30 minutes of owning it. Um, I don't know, maybe it's a good story. But you know, like I said before, um, I was gonna film a video on you know what we all have in our uh, toolkit for fixing our pop-up, things like that. But in reality, the moral of the story was to have a first aid kit in your tow vehicle or even your pop-up. Um, in this case, um, gauze and compression bandage was really helpful uh, so that way we could make it to the ER ER and I could get these stitches so that was kind of uh, what I thought of but uh, also don't be dumb like me and put your head in places it shouldn't be right well that's kind of life advice in general but uh, nevertheless um, I got some new stitches we've got a new pop-up and uh, well we purposely didn't tell you what it is because I'm curious to uh, see what you guys think it is so if you have any guesses uh, for what we bought, throw them in the comments below. Um, you might be able to tell it's a high wall. We're gonna be keeping our Jayco for a little while longer. I wanna do uh, some fun comparison and uh, contrast videos between uh, our Jayco and this one. But I'm curious to see what you guys think we may have bought. So it's a high wall, I'll give you that hint. But uh, other than that, throw, uh, throw what uh, your guesses are in the comments. So um, I guess that uh, leaves just the outro. So as always, guys, hopefully we see you in the next video. If not, hopefully we see you out there camping.